What is going on everyone? Bitter Hyena here. Now, I don't know how I originally missed this, but Silver Tempest pre-releases were last weekend. Like, I had absolutely no idea these things were going on. Now, I did get lucky enough on Friday night to get some of the Build and Battle boxes pre-ordered. I got them from my local card shop, so that means I actually got some prize packs with them. So, for today's video, let's go ahead and see what we can get from the first 21 packs of Silver Tempest. Yes, we have 21 whole packs to open up. I have three kits and I have got the prize packs here, but just a bunch, nine prize packs, three in each of these or four in each of these. So we have got a decent chance to pull some stuff. So let's go ahead and open up the pre-release kits first, and then we will open up the single packs. The single packs are from a booster box, which I'm sure y'all know. Um, there it is. I know where my knife was at. So we have a decent chance of pulling some good stuff. I have seen some people already pulling the alt art loot. Yeah, so that would be nice, but I mean, it's the first opening. Anything from this set will be awesome. I don't know why I can't get this open. There we go. All right, and I forget what pre-release promos we've got as well. I have not followed Silver Tempest too much since its announcement or anything. I've just had a lot going on outside of the channel, so it's a cool looking box though. I love the Lugia art on it. I love the fact that Lugia is finally getting some really good attention. I think the last time we've gotten something really big Lugia related was, what was it? Um, Shining Lugia maybe? I know we've had a Lugia GX and stuff, but ooh, there is a pre-release promo. It is Rapidash and that looks sweet, especially with the Silver Tempest logo. All right, let's see here. What can we get from the little kit here? All right, we've got, of course, plastic everywhere. All right, we've got the rapid ash, of course. So that's just gonna go right up here, throw that off. And then our little kit here is full of fire energy, psychic energies. We've got Ralts, Curlia, Guard of War, uh, Fall Crystals, Normal Rapidash, Ponytons, Vulpix, Ninetales, the Red-Headed Girl, Professor's Research, Bug Catcher. Looks cool. Is that the first time I've seen him? I don't know. I can't remember. There we go, Bug Catcher. It would have been nice to have as a full art, Bug Catcher. We got a V-Star marker and the code for the box. All right, so let's show you what we get from our first four packs here. We'll save the Lugia artwork for last. Open up the uh, Vulpix, Alolan Vulpix. All right. Now I will. I've got to say, my pre-release luck with new sets is usually pretty good. It's usually pretty good. So let's see if we can do any better. I think uh, Lost Origin. I pulled a Hyper Rare out of some, one of my first packs. So something like that would be nice. Let's see. We got a little sleeping Feebas. A Chimeco. First pack of Silver Tempest. <laughs> we pull the Black and Gold Rayquaza. This is the first time I've pulled one of these. Oh my God. What a card. That is amazing. I have not seen anybody pull this yet, so this is a first for me. There we go. That is nice. What an absolutely stunning card. And we got Melodic on the end. Wow. First pack <laughs> magic for this set. Look at that. Rayquaza VMAX. That is awesome. That is so cool. I love that the black is just like flat. Like there's nothing to it. It's just shiny. Then you got the gold and green Rayquaza. That is amazing. First pack, man. What a freaking kit. Even if we don't pull anything else, I am, ooh, I am happy with that. And that is from the trainer gallery, I believe, as well, too. So, okay, there we go. First code, or second code. Oh, my God. What a freaking, <laughs> my luck with this set. Alrighty, cool. First pack, let's see. Let's hope that these luck continues on through the rest of the packs because, I mean, we've got quite a bit of them here. Almost a full booster box. We got Unidentified Fossil and a Frost Lass on the end. All right. Pack number three. Silver Tempest. I am liking this set already. 
and I have not even opened up a booster box of the Japanese version of this set yet. I've got two of them sitting behind me with promo packs, but I was so thrown off that this was happening this weekend that I just I had to do the English set. It's just, yeah, it's early, it's pre-releases, you got to. We've got Dratini, a Fletchling, which that just showed me that my lights are maybe a little too bright. Ralts, a Reverse Ponyta, and Omastar V, which looks awesome, actually. That is a cool-looking V card. Nice, not a bad hit. All right, two decent hits in the pre-release kit. I am, I'm happy with that. And we still got two more kits and nine packs. It'll be quite, quite the video. All right. Here we go. The code two and three energy off. All right. What do we got here? Uh, we got a meditating stone journer. We got a wreck when nid uh, emergency jelly. Okay. Apparently is what that is in English. We got Durant, a meditite. We have got Emolga Mercuro. We got a cute little Whalmer, a reverse clay doll and on the end, a non hollow Neuvern. All right. So that is, not a bad first kit that would have been pretty good to get uh at a pre-release though we didn't pull rayquaza or anything that is i don't think we can i don't yeah rayquaza is not even in this so i don't know i don't know how that would have went it might maybe hmm i don't know is the character gallery rayquaza in here i think it is maybe I don't know what I'm talking about at this point. All right, there's our four packs. Let's see what our next pre-release promo is. It is Curlia. All right. It is weird to me to see the middle evolution as a hollow. They used to do this quite a bit in the original, like in base set. I know there was a, you know, there was a hollow haunter as well. So it's cool to see him do it every once in a while, giving some middle evolution some love. All right, we got Psychic, Lightning Energies, we got some more of them. Just about the same. We got some different electric type Pokemon though. Some colorless, some different trainers there. What is, where's she at? Oh, there is, that is her name. Okay, for Sewed Girl, I guess. So apparently she is in this set, hopefully as the full art. There we go, there's the code for that one. Throw both of those off. All right. Let's get into our next four packs. Oh my god. Alright. Here we go. We have got Reggie Drago up first. Let's see. Can we get an actual alt art? That would be... That is what I would like to pull from this. That is the main one. It's just an alt art. Just because... It'd be cool to pull one in pre-release. Never done it. Would like to do it. Alright. Here we go. First one for the second kit. We've got Unidentified Fossil. A Gallade. We've got Candice, which art hopefully is in this set i don't know 100 percent we got ponyta oh we got a little venom at Ralts. a first well another character gallery hit first pack as well too there we go melodic that is a nice looking card as well awesome artwork i'll take it happy with that and another frost lies on the end so two character gallery hits two pretty good ones and then a v so far all right out of what five packs so far not bad at all all right what do we got up next there is your code for that one one two and three lightning energy off all right next up we've got toxic croak uh professor laventon i think that's it yeah we've got metatang a miss drevis swabaloo I'm afraid I'm going to knock over this pile of cards here. Dreepy, we've got Vulpix, our first Radiant, and the best one from this set, in my opinion, Radiant Alakazam. Awesome card, man, look at that. Oh, it looks so good. I wanted to pull this in Japanese so bad, but English is good, I'll take it. Not a bad hit, and then we got Amoongus on the end. Awesome, man. Not too bad whatsoever. We're doing pretty good, I gotta say. Reading Alakazam. All right. Next one up. Let's see. Please. Some more stuff. Give me some more full arts. Give me first secret rare for the set, please. One, two, three. I've got I've got a good feeling about the prize packs. Those are always usually when I get my best hits. 
like you said, they are from a booster box, so you do have a pretty good chance of pulling a secret rare, full art, or something like that. We got Dratini, a Chun Chow. Our reverse is a King Clang, and only and a Hollow Ariados. Our first Hollow, which I don't think I've seen that in those like water droplets on the spider web. Like awesome! What a cool card. Not too bad for a Hollow. All right, last one, Regieleki, or however you freaking say it. Let's see. What can you give us? Can we get another hit from the pre-release kit? Can we get a first secret rare from a kit? Let's see. One, two, three. Fire energy. All right. We got Murkrow starting off. A Raichu. Fair Thord. We got a Baltoy Yukimori. Cute little Sunkrin. We got a Fampy. Indeedy. A Marini. Our reverse is a Glade. And on the end, a Delphox. Okay. I was kind of expecting that to be hollow, but whatever. All right. Our last kit, let's see. Can we hopefully get a different pre-release promo? We've got two of the four now. So, just would like to get the last one. Just to have the full set. I've been doing pretty good as of late of getting the full sets for these pre-release kits. All right, open it this way. Just like we have been. Throw the box off, throw that off. We've got our packs here and our last promo, let's see. Please don't be a double it. It's Rapidash. There we go. Not bad, but like I said, it's a double. It's hoping for not a double. Okay. That's all right though. We're getting we're getting the hits, and that's what that's what counts. All right. Let's see what we got from first pack for this kit. So far, both of these kits have been pretty good. I can't lie. I am very happy about these. That first one is killer, though, with that Rayquaza. Oh, my God. All right. Starting off, we got Braxian. Ooh, there we go. The Dene, Primordial Altar. We've got another Marini. Swirlix. We've got a Sandile. A Togemaru, which I like at artwork. Noibat. Our reverse is a Vulpix. And, on the end, a Regieleki from the same pack. All right. There we go, cool, another V hit, not too bad. Such a weird Pokemon, I I don't know how I feel about it. But, there it is, it's a hit. All right, Reggie Drago pack up, but up next. Let's see, can we get the alt art? I do know it is in this set. So we have got the, I'm trying to think. We've got the Lugia, I know that. We have got the Regieleki, we've got the Unknown. And I can't remember what else is in here. There's one more. Is it uh, the skunk? The purple skunk. That's what it is. V-Bass. Chimeco. A Keldeo Reverse. And another Delphox. Alright. Kid ain't doing too good this time around. We've still got two packs. Still got a chance to get something. And then we've got our uh, prize packs. There we go. I couldn't think of the word. Alright. Starting off, we've got Slurm Puff, a Capturing Aroma, okay. More Pico, a Petalil. We got a Clink, another Sunkren, a Yukimori Bal Toy. We got Indeedy, a Reverse Primordial Alter, and the King Clang. All right, so this is so far has been the worst kit, but we still got a V. It would have been good for pre-releases, actually. So. Like I said before, if you can get a V in your kit at a pre-release, usually means you're going to do pretty good. All right. Here we go. Last one. Then we're into our prize packs. We've got Capturing Aroma again. More Pico. Quadstone, apparently, is that one. Fletchling. A Fanfy. We've got a Dreepy. Buneary. We've got a Rotom. I like a card. A Reverse Fanfy. And finally, on end, another Hollow Ariados. Out of all the hollows in the set, we've pulled Ariados twice already. And that one, ooh, hold on a second here. This one seems to be a lighter shade of ink. Hmm, look at that. Clearly see the one on the right is a lot lighter than the one on the left. That is interesting. I have never seen that before in person. Though I do know it does happen. I have to keep those that's kind of cool all right let's open up the prize packs all right first one up lugia let's see 
Now we are into 21 packs or nine packs out of a booster box. Like I said, good chances, good chances. Let's see. Though, if this is what we walk away with, I'm I'm happy with that. It's not terrible. Uh, that Rayquaza pretty much did it for me. We got Raichu, though. If it's anything like the Pikachu and the Mew, I don't think those were very expensive from Lost, was it from Lost Origin? Whatever set it was from. We got Slurmpuff, Ain, Incineroar, Sleepin' on the end. Kind of a cool card. All right. Another Lugia. I think I sorted these by uh, pack arts when I got home with them. All right, there's that. Three, I don't know what my chase card would be from this set. Maybe the Lugia. I do like the Lugia alt art a lot. I'm not a huge Lugia fan, but it is cool and I would like to get it. It's Togedemaru, Esper. We've got a Smeargle, a scared little Litten. <laughs> Another Radiant Alakazam, all right. I'll take it, not bad. And Arcanine on the end, and that looks awesome. I don't think I've seen that art. Okay, we got Lola and Volpix. Let me speed this up a little bit. This video is gonna be as long as a normal booster box video is if I don't hurry up. All right, code, there you go. One, two, three, energy, off. All that crap off. We got tons of packs everywhere. We got Whale Lord, a Riot Shoe. We've got Torcat, a sleepy little pea bass, Noi Bat, get off there. Snow Runt. We've got Sand Dial, a Fennekin, a Reverse Tracky in there. Been a while since we've seen you. And another Ariados. This is the third freaking Ariados we have pulled. What is going on? Good lord. All right. Apparently, there's only one Hollow in this set, and it's Area Dose. Good lord. All right. Ooh. Mm, messed that pack up a little bit. There we go. It's all off. There we go. All right. We're good. We're good. There we go. Code. Good luck. Good luck. Save them for the actual release day. Can't use them yet. We've got Slurmpuff. Lance, which I forgot is a full art in this set. I have seen a pull. Emolga. We've got a Metatite, a Durant, maybe. We have got Ralts, a Fletchling, I'm having problems. Clink, and a Noivern on the end. All right, it's another Alolan of Volpix pack. Oh, there we go. These are a little rough to open. We have not pulled anything significant so far from the booster box packs. And I'm getting kind of kind of scared. Here we go. Sunflora. We got Primordial Altar, Dedene, a cool looking Smeargle, I think the first time I've seen you, Litten, Petalil, we got a Chinchou, a Vero Seed, a Reverse Zubat, and Clink Clang. All right. Apparently, the it's going to be the opposite this time. Uh, pre release kits are going to be what we pull everything from. All right. Come on, just one good thing from these. That's all I want. This is get some good opening so far. Can't complain. Gotta can't complain. Alright. Come on. Clang. We have got Claydol. A worker, which is a full art. I would love to pull it. We've got Dratini. A Clink. We've got a Stunfisk. Toga Tamaru. An Esper. An unidentified fossil. And a hollow dragonite. With some cool artwork. Not bad. It's a different hollow than Eridos. I will say that. All right, Reggie, a lucky pack. Three to go. Come on. Something good. Something good. Something of worth. Please. Code. Two, three. We haven't even... Have we, we haven't pulled a V either from this. It's just been two hollows, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And the Alakazam. I forgot about that. We got Pikachu, which looks awesome. A Ponyta. Then a Nat. We've got a Dupider. A Spinda. We got a reverse curly uh, and a Zygarde. Did not know you were in this set. Non hollow, but okay. Mm, there we go. Ready Drago packs left. Two of them. Oh, come on. There we go. One good hit. One good hit. Come on. There's fighting energy. All right. We have got Clang start off with. Claydol. Another worker. We've got Durant. A Ralts, a Fletchling, we've got Dratini, a Clink, a Reverse Jinx, okay. 
There we go. Not bad. Character rare. I will happily take it. There we go. Decent hits so far from the packs. And a stun tank on the end. There we go. The stun tank V is the only thing that I have actually pulled from the Japanese version of this set as well. Because I've only opened that mystery box so far. Alright. Final pack. Let's see what can we end with. Come on. End with one really good pull. Let's see. We can do it. We can do it. There we go. I think this time around they gave me all the crap packs for my prize packs. It's okay. It's okay. Alright. Quadstone. We've got more Pico capturing aroma again. Petalil. A Chin Chow. We have got the Pharaoh Seed. Pikachu. Ponyta. A Sunkrin Reverse. And finally, on the end, we've got a non holo Keldeo. Alright, so pulls are alright. We got two Radiant Alakazams, which best Radiant in the set. There we go. Happy with those. Three V hits, not too bad. Omastar, Regieleki, and Stun Tank there. Nah, nothing too crazy. Two normal character rares, I guess you could say. We've got Melodic and Jinx. Both of them look great. I really like the Jinx one, though. It's probably one of my favorites. And then the big hit, and out of the first pack, the Rayquaza VMAX. What a freaking amazing card. Oh, my God. And a first pack magic, man. I can't, you can't beat that. But in the comments below, let me know if you've opened up any Silver Tempest, if you got some pre-release kits or somehow got some early product. Let me know your pools, what you've gotten so far, what you want to get, all that good stuff. But alrighty guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you're new, subscribe and check out another video while you're at it. Don't forget to hit the little bell button, get notifications and more videos go up. And as always guys, thank you so much for the love and support. It is greatly appreciated and I will talk to you all later. See ya.